Hey everyone, my name is Mike. I am HVAC professional and did you know there are actually quite a few ways you can wire up a zone valve? Today's video is actually going to cover the most common way that most HVAC professionals are going to wire these zone valves up. So if you're an installer, if you're a service tech or a do-it-yourselfer and you walk up to a hydronic boiler, the odds are pretty good that what you see in today's video is what you're gonna see in front of you. So before we jump in this wiring, let's dive into the logic of what this wiring is supposed to do. Basically what you have inside the zone valve, there is a motor and a little micro switch. It's called an end switch. And so the idea here is that your thermostat and the motor in the zone valve are tied into its own circuit, a little loop of electricity that's being powered by a transformer. And when the thermostat calls for heat, it closes a switch between your R terminal and W terminal on the thermostat. And when that loop is complete, when that circuit is closed, the motor will actually start to spin. And so when the motor spins all the way open, there's a little lever on it and it pushes that little end switch inside the zone valve. Now this end switch is connected to the boiler and that is another circuit. That, so it's a, two completely different circuits meeting in the same place in the zone valve. One circuit is the thermostat, the motor, and the transformer. The other circuit is the end switch, the boiler, and another source of power like a transformer. So basically your thermostat's controlling the motor, the end switch is controlling the boiler, and this is how your thermostat turns your boiler on and off. Now on the Honeywell zone valves we're talking about today, you're gonna have two yellow wires which are the wires that go to your motor and these two wires are going to be part of your circuit with the thermostat and the transformer. The red wires are going to be wires that come off your end switch and those two wires are going to tie into your TNT circuit at the boiler. Now when we're talking about zone valves we're always talking about more than one zone valve. We're always going to have two, three, four, five, ten you're never really gonna have just one. So let's talk about how these guys would wire up multiple zone valves with the information that we have so far in this video. Now, as I stated earlier, the goal is to get 24 volts from the transformer up to the R terminal on the thermostat. Now, because we have multiple zones, we're gonna have multiple thermostats, and we need to send that 24 volts to those multiple thermostats from the same place. So what you're likely going to see is a red wire coming off the transformer and connecting to a bunch of other red wires, and each one is gonna go up to the R terminal on individual thermostats. So from each thermostat, you're gonna see a white wire that comes from the W terminal on the thermostat to one of the yellow wires on the zone valve. And each one of these wires from the thermostat are going to be paired up with its own zone valves. So each zone valve is wired directly to its own thermostat just with that one wire. And now what we have to do is we have to complete each one of those circuits back to the common on the transformer. So what you're likely going to see are the other yellow wires that haven't been used yet on each one of the zone valves all tied together to one single wire, probably a white wire that goes back to the common on the transformer. So to recap, you're going to have one red wire coming off the transformer tied into a bunch of other red wires and each one goes up to the R-terminal thermostat. You will have individual white wires between the thermostat and one wire on the zone valve. And then you will have a bunch of the yellow wires that haven't been used tied together to one white wire that goes back to the transformer to complete all the circuits. So on the other side of the zone valve, you're gonna have the red wires and these are connected to your end switches. So the way this works is that these guys will usually take one red wire off of each zone valve and tie them all together and connect it to one of the wires that will go down to the TNT in the boiler. They will then take all the other red wires that were, weren't used, tie all those together to a white wire that goes down to the TNT in the boiler. Now, sometimes in the boiler, the, uh, the TNT is just gonna be two wires you, you tie right up to. A lot of times they'll have a little label on them that says thermostat. Sometimes you might actually have an aquastat where you have TV and T. Um, that's pretty much the same thing, but that is pretty much the gist of it. If you wanna learn a lot more about wiring and maybe a little diagnostics, I am developing an online course called Blue Collar Academy. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. See you next one.